<laughs> Ouch. Okay. That hit kind of hard. Jesus. Okay, I was was not ready for that. I don't know why, I was expecting the light damage to hit it a little harder. Okay. Um I'm only doing flame now because I'm not, I wouldn't have expected my next attack to finish it off, and I really didn't want to deal with. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we just want to keep to the right going down. At best would just get us like a platform. Alright, got that jerk with stun, which is good because we want to use rain. And then we're gonna use barrier because, yeah, I would rather not be taking, you know, upper 60s of damage with the void punch. Now we'll hit this jerk with flame though. Hit him with this next. All right. That was significantly less painful. much more simple. I hate being lost. I could have flown in my dragon form, but if I could fl or if I could have my dragon form, I could fly, but no. <laughs> I'd better start walking, but where? I can't go back to Warlick. Lady Celestia is in Heather Grove, and I don't know what happened to Eliza. She was nice enough, and she tried to help. I hope she's not hurt. Oh, wow. She's actually thinking about someone else. She didn't care about us at all when we were helping her. That was a nice change of pace. She shouldn't, she shouldn't have taken that energy blast for me. I could have handled it. I guess, I suppose I'll have to go home. Maybe my parents can help me. Without saying we told you so. Yeah. Wow, oh, things still survived. <clears throat> All right. Go ahead and hit this one with stun. Surviving with one HP. I got Pokemon. <laughs> I love the design of this thing. Oh. 
A seeing eye, Sluggy. Oh, I blocked it. Ow, jeez. Sixty and forty. Jeez. Oh. Really? Okay. That was just all sorts of harsh. Healed. That thing hit me really hard and I couldn't stun it. <laughs> um here we'll just use barrier. Okay, I like your design, and then you one of your attacks is throwing up. I'm a little less cool with that one. Uh, just... Seriously. Well, I got that one down at least. You're still alive. I'll just take this opportunity to do this. There we go. Mom, Dad. Nathera, you've come home. Oh, my dear. After you ran away, I contacted your parents to let them know you were missing. They've been so worried. I, I there were good, there were the good void dragons that Eli Eliza told me, took me to, and they said I was blocked for a good reason. That would be the Creatio. I know of them, and I got mad. We know how that goes. Hush, dear, let her finish. And then I kept, and then I ran into the forest, and I kept running, and there was a portal like the one Warlick took me to. And you went into the void alone. That was very dangerous, Nathera. And there was a bad void dragon, and they said they wanted me to be their slave. I am imagining this like a six-year-old scraped their knee, and is explaining the tale, or explaining the turn of events that way the way that they keep bolding like very and certain or er, and bad if anyone could help me as if anyone could keep me in chains and then it started to attack me i could have handled it on my own but eliza came and the blast hit her instead of me and she disappeared and now i don't know what to do or where to go and i'm confused and i hate being confused I know what I need to do, and that's get my magic. Then I'll be able to handle those decadere. They won't be able to get their hands on me. I'm far too smart for them. It's good that you came home, Nathera. Instead of running and getting into even more trouble, you came to us. I'm proud of you. I want to be able to do it myself, and I would if I had my magic. Nathera, now the, t the time for childishness is past. Old enough to understand the power of the forces you'll be working with. We kept you sheltered long enough. I agree. It's time you began regaining some of what has been kept from you. It is. I mean, it is. I'm glad you finally see things my way. There is a catch. There always is a catch, but I learned my lesson. I'll cooperate. Go along to get along, and once I get my magic, they'll realize this was the right choice. I'll prove it to everyone. You mentioned the Creatio. Uh, I know of them, as I said. They would be appropriate guardians to oversee your re reacquaintance with your powers. You have the potential to be one of the greatest mages ever. They will shepherd you well. 
Yes, Warlick. Listen to Warlick. The path to your magics must be found through the Creatio. I cannot take you any further. You know, maybe this is just knowing what I know about Warlick, but I'm not sure that's true. <laughs> anyway. Uh, what time is it? 52. Mid 52. I don't know how long this next quest is. Sure, let's do it. I'm in a super big hurry here. Alright. Rise of the Dragon Mage, face your destiny. I know what I have to do now. I have to go and talk to the Creatio. Maybe Ibucidus will help me since Warlick can't. It's good you are back, child. We worried. I'm sorry I ran off. Everyone has kept my magic from me, and it feels like a part of myself is missing. Warlock says if I want my magic back, I need to work with you. So I will. I will try to be better. I have faith that you'll achieve things greater than you can currently imagine. So long as you work with them and not against them. I'm gladdened by your words, young one, and you make a fair point. You can't become what you are destined to be if you are completely restricted from your magic. So we will begin slowly lifting the restrictions that bind you, allowing you time to grow into your new powers. The dragon blood inside you yearns to be used. Embrace it now. I thank you. I feel different. More, more like myself. Still not whole, but better. Almost complete. It is important, though, for you to know what you face in working with us. I should explain about the decadere. Uh, those jumped up, pompous, delusional, hideous. They were, are the void dragons as... <clears throat> or they are void dragons as we are void dragons. They are our brethren, and they are not. They reside in the void, and it has twisted them. Touching the void as the creatio do as you do, does not warp a creature. It is only after being continually immersed in the energies of the void that one becomes as they are. And, twisted by the void, they have aligned themselves with the negative, or one of its negative aspects, entropy. Oh. I, uh, didn't know that came from the void. We also, we have attuned ourselves with creation, we give life, nature, and nourish. Or we nurture and nourish, I believe. That is what it means to be creatio. And the Decatere hate us for it. But you, you were born. When you were born, it was foretold that you would be the savior of our race. T really? We are not sure how that will be possible, as they only want to use you and twist you for their own corrupted ends. But somehow you will save us. We will have to wait and see how that comes about. I am, after all, the part dragon. Paired with the ingenuity of my human ancestors, I'm starting. I'm sure I'll think of something. Just you watch. Your enthusiasm is reassuring. We do not doubt you will succeed. It is only the manner in which your success will take that we do not comprehend. I think I'd like to go off and think a bit about what I must do and my new powers, and maybe I'll come up with a way to help your race. If I have to fight more forest fairies, I'm going to be a little annoyed. <laughs> so, I have a destiny. A great destiny. I'm not surprised. I always knew I would be famous. Someone as superior as I am can not be. Oh boy. But how to go about? Really? I just got void portaled? Ah! <laughs> and comedically spinning while she falls as well. That's hilarious. Oof. Someone will pay dearly for this. 
Maybe I'll level up while I'm here. So, am I just gonna be doing the same, like, couple of screens that I've been doing the other two times I've been to the void? Because I'd prefer if that wasn't the case. Alright, if that thing hits me with a, a void punch dot, I'll be a little sad. Alright, that doesn't appear to be the case. Like I can imagine, I'm just gonna go to the right here. Oh, and it's already just on the straight path. That's actually rather amusing. I figured it would be right up and then right some more. Let's use haste here. I was expecting that to do a little more. Splits off. You're probably gonna just keep to the right though, because that's how it's worked for me every other time so far. Ouch. Sweet. Ow, that one hit me like good. I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Get some mana back, most importantly, here. Actually got it with stun there. Just, uh, do this. There we go. <laughs> oh, I found you. What's up, Decadre? Ah, the dragon child has returned to us. This is most beneficial to our plans. Tell me, little pet, did you think you would find your way back here so unexpectedly? Hmm. I needed to see you anyway. Now is as good a time as any other. Oh ho, the dragon kitten has teeth. <laughs> it will be much fun taming you to a leash level one, and once your spirit is broken, we will remake you in our image. You will be ours, and it will be glorious. Hmm. Interesting. You're not going anywhere, or you're not doing anything to me, you wrinkled piece of void rot. I don't get to heal first? That's a bit of a bummer. Alright, let's see. It resists immobility and darkness and question mark? What does that even mean? It just resists whatever it wants. Arcane magic increases your evasion. Uh, alright, well. We're gonna juice ourselves up here. And we're gonna hit with our best. 
best moves. Let's start with this one since, uh, you know, the longer I can apply the dot, the better. Things hitting for like 20 damage, even when I'm blocking. It's not my favorite thing in the world. Oh god, okay. Maybe I can make it miss me. Go ahead and do one of these. So I'm not liking my chances at the moment. I think maybe I'll go, if I lose here, which is looking likely, I'll probably go like in one of those forking paths and try to uh, see if there's a healing pad or something. Use Razor Wind here. Ow. Well, that sucked. Oh. I guess I'm supposed to lose. That was a way more convincing scripted loss than, say, the one for Sepulcher. <laughs> Where he just outright, like, puts your face to the ground and stomps on you. Do you not see how foolish it is to stand against us, Dragon Child? That seemed like you could have potentially pulled that off if you had uh, gotten lucky, maybe. And if I had went in with, like, fully healed. Do you not see how foolish it is to stand against us, Dragon Child? Um, hi, Eliza. Whoa. Oh, she teleported us. I thought, rawr. You know, the way that thing's head is shaped almost reminds me of like a xenomorph. Know what I mean? Anyway, complete quest. The dragon mage begins to rise. Void draggers or void splinter shards. I wonder how cool that looks. It does look pretty interesting. Alright, well, I think I'm gonna call that good. Go on, it's been going for a little over an hour. Got about half of the quest chain done. We'll finish up the other half next time. Till then, thank you for watching, and as always, follow me to Apex.